become a master at probability. You need to understand exercises with cards. They're unavoidable. Back to the origins of probability with Pascal and games of chance. How much do you have on you? Alpha, how about a little game of poker? Here we go, Morty. Imagine you are dealt a hand of five cards from a deck of 52. How many different hand possibilities is that? <laughs> what is a five card hand? Has he been living under a rock? A hand is the cards you're dealt. That is to say, a set of unordered cards, you can put them in any order you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Well, the order doesn't matter. We use combinations. I would say it is a combination of five cards out of 52. No one can calculate that off the top of their heads. That's 2,598,960. Heck, she got him. Well done, team. Come on, Morty. Why your brain is working? Tell me out of all these hand possibilities, how many have at least one ace? I need to calculate all the hands that have exactly one ace, plus all those with two aces, plus all those with three aces, plus all those with four aces. This will take a while. Wait. Scared you, boy. You can use the upper side event. It will be simpler. You can count all the possibilities of hands that don't have an S. It's easy. And then you subtract these possibilities from the total number of possibilities and that gives you the number of hands with at least one S. Oh, smart. Thank you. So, to find the number of hands without aces, I can just take the deck of 50 cards. Remove the four aces and count the possibilities of five card hands that can be made with the 48 cards remaining. That's a combination of five cards out of 48. Hello, kitty. That's 1,712,304. Is kitty a little creepy or is it just me? And so, that's 2,598,960 possible hands in total, minus 1,712,300 for hands without aces. That makes... 886,656. She is downright creepy. That's 886,656 hands with at least one ace. Not bad. Now tell me how many hands have at least one ace or one heart. Well, it's the same. It would be too complicated to count directly, because there can be aces and no hearts. Hearts and no aces, or a little of each. Anyway, here do I have to go through the opposite event? Well spotted. So I have to start by counting all the hands without any hearts or any aces. I remove the remaining 13 hearts and 3 aces, because I already removed the ace of hearts. So there are theory 6 cards left that are neither hearts nor aces. I count how many hands of five cards I can make with these 36 cards. That's a combination of five out of 36. 376,992. I gotta say, that's a lot. It's almost there. It's 2,598,960 possible hands in total, minus 376,990 hands without hearts or aces. That makes... Two million. 221,968. 2,221,968 hands with at least one heart or one ace. Great. You're ready for a real enigma. How many hands only have cards at the suit's maximum? Remember, there are four suits of cards. Pates, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. I think I've got it. If I only take cards into fixed suits, for example, spades and diamonds, that makes 26 cards. With these 26 cards, the number of hands I can form is a combination of 5 cards from 26. That is to say... 65,780. There you go, I have 65,780 possible hands made up of spades or diamonds. I count the same way all the hands that I can form just with spades or clubs. With spades or hearts. With diamonds or clubs, with diamonds or hearts, with clubs or hearts, there are six ways to choose to suits from four. The result is therefore 65,780 times six equals 
394,680. This is my answer. 394,680 possibilities of hands of at most suits. Um, not bad, but that's wrong, crazy young dog. Aww. Or rather, the calculation is not finished. I know, wait. I'm on the 65,780 hands made up only of spades or demons. You count hands where there is a make of these two swords. But there are also the hands which only have spades and hands which only have demons. Yes, and so? When you count the possible cases, you should only count each hand once. But with your method, the hands which are only made up of spades, you count them when you count all the hands that can be made with spades or diamonds. Then you will count them a second time when you will count the hands made of spades or hearts. Then you will count them a third time when you will count the hands made of spades or gloves. Yes, so if I count them three times instead of once, I have to remove the two extra times. To count how many hands are made up of spades only, I make a combination of five cards among the 13 spades. It makes... 1,287. I therefore have to remove 1,287 possibilities twice to avoid counting the spades several times. In the same way, I counted the hands made up of diamonds three times, with the spades, with the hearts, and with the clubs. So I have to remove the two times 1,287 extra possibilities that I counted the diamonds. I do the same for the clubs and hearts. I have the same problem with all fursuits. I have to remove for all fursuits the two times 1,287 hands already counted. That's not easy. In the end, the hands of the suits max or the hands of one or the suits that I counted minus all the ones that I counted twice too many. That's 394,680 possibilities minus 2 times 1,287 times for suits. That makes... 384, 384. There are 384,384 possible hands made up of up to the suits. I think I've got a brain cramp, Rick. Ha ha ha, crack. It's the math hump that's starting to grow. I didn't understand anything. The last question was kinda hard, and it looks like something from an exam. You'll have to go over it again. Next up is real probabilities. Subscribe. Subscribe. Click here. Or here.